what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and we are back with level 9 Red King Revelation Story for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. We actually ring off a trophy achievement called He's a Friend from Work and uh, we get one gold brick for completing the level. Now, that being said, we're going to keep on keeping on right where we left off from, so away oh, we go. What do you need from me? We're looking for shards of the nexus of all realities so that we might use its power to create a gateway into Chronopolis. The shards lie scattered across these lands. Yes, I can see that. My journey to Midgard is of great importance. What? Doubly so if we're able to acquire the tickets you mentioned earlier. Heimdall, you must begin your task in assisting the Fair Wasp. She can locate the shards upon her mapping device. What's all this about tickets? Heimdall added a small condition to his supporting us. The acquisition of tickets to a Broadway show? Seriously? So there are five Nexus shards. That is so. I'll set up teams to cover this. All right, so just to clear up any confusion, uh, these cutscenes that we're opening with are generally the cutscenes that are shown after the continue button displays on the final total screen from the level before. So it's kind of an in-between timeline of events that has happening. And uh, that being said, we gain control of our characters. We actually have a choice of either Star-Lord or Captain America. So actually, actually Thor's. But uh, we're going to go ahead and choose Thor's group and follow the old blue ghost stud trail, which actually is quite a long ways as we learned the last time. So we're going to go ahead and switch to a character with a little bit more of a speedy presence. Uh, there we go. I was going to say, any time now, Brian. But uh, we'll go ahead and switch on over to Doctor Strange and fly our way to our destination, which this one happens to actually be underwater. So that's right. I hope you brought your snorkel because we're going to go and get a little bit wet. That's right. You ever been norkeling? <laughs> nah, but I've been cuba diving. Oh, anybody know what that's from? That's a pretty awesome comedy special from a comedian who is no longer with us. But uh, anyway, R.I.P. to R.M. You guys can Google that and figure it out. But anyways, uh, we're going to swim all the way to the bottom here to where this purple arrow is. In fact, there's kind of an awkward angle you have to approach this on. Now, keep in mind, too, there are some free roam items scattered around, so try not to get too distracted as we will come back and get all of those in a methodical order at some point once we complete the free play. All right, here we go. We're going to step into this glowing halo, press the icon indicator, and go ahead and continue story to see what's in store for me. Or, or we, right? Oh, yeah. Things are looking bad. And I mean down to my last bagel bad. But if these heroes are this city's best shot at stopping Kang, then so be it. Let's try and get a little team spirit going here. Show them how it's done, Captain America. Make it for the water city of Lemuria, where Heimdall has spotted another Nexus fragment. Captain's team have encountered a dark, ominous tunnel. Surely they aren't falling into a trap. I mean, Heimdall has those amazing eyes, yeah? If they're walking into a trap, he'll be able to warn them, right? Well, maybe he needs to get his eyes checked, because I'll put money on our heroes ending up somewhere they don't want to be. <laughs> Foolish surface creatures. Your capture will surely secure my place by Kang's side. <laughs> Well, that could have been worse. It's worse. Greetings! Your lives now belong to the Red King. Fret not, however, for they will be mercifully short. Now, let us see how you fare against the World Breakers. This pompous fool pit against us that we cannot best. That's a lot of hawks. Uh, at least it should be a worthy fight. It has begun! Let combat commence! Okay, first things first. Let's take out that staff. What? Are you kidding me? What is there, like three or four Hulks? They got Old Hulk, Red Hulk, 
uh, toga, or yoga, toga, <laughs> toga party Hulk. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, uh, all right, so a little small confession here. I was a little distracted by all of these bad guys, and of course all of these big hulks trying to smash my face in, that I failed to realize that the floating bad guy with the staff we need to take out actually has a gold chariot below him. Now, we can switch to Doctor Strange and melt that down here in a second. However, it takes me a while to figure it out, and you might have to take out all these little guys first, because you can see there's a whole series of these little guys, and there seems to be some sort of maybe a force field on the bottom side of that gold floating chariot Buddy's flying in. However, uh, we do make mince meat out of it at some point soon. I do figure out here in a hot second that we can melt these guys, and some of these bad guys actually come in with gold-plated armor, so we'll go ahead and use our heat ray to melt them down but uh first we get like i said a little distracted here and it takes quite a while for me to figure this out but not too long i, I won't lie now i do have a close call here with one of the collectibles any second here i get uh bounced away and knocked down off the left hand side of the screen here we go oh my goodness look at that guy he is floating there and i'm pretty sure that you have to use a special ability in order to get that but every so often there is one of those collectibles that needs an ability but somehow is still attainable without it. You know what I mean? There was like that red brick in Lego Jurassic World that uh, was easily obtained without the special ability, and it wasn't supposed to be. It was just kind of a developer uh, mishap, I guess I would call it, and that almost seemed like that was going to be another one of them, and I'm glad I didn't grab it because I would have had to start all over again because you know me, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to skipping collectibles and trying to maintain all of them in one video. Now, if I'm looking at this chariot in the back, the little, what I thought was maybe a force field on the bottom is actually just a glowing halo indicating like some sort of, um, you know, awesomeness that allows it to float. So I guess that's like the uh, special ability light that's lit up there. But uh, we took it down and we're not worried about that no mo. We're actually going to fly over to the far left hand side where all these bricks are bouncing away. We're going to build them up into a Captain America shield switch. And then we're going to use the captain to go ahead and make it happen. And you'll see that in just a second. I actually target quite a few things in the background here. But last but not least, I target the shield switch. And I open the door, which actually takes us into a very, very short sequence of a cutscene here. And, uh, well, wait a minute. Maybe? Open the door! Wait, what's coming out? Oh, another chariot. That's right. This one is uh, a little bit more obvious, I would say. And seeing as I already figured out the first round that I needed to melt it down, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to a character with Heat Ray again. And look at that. We've got our melt on, and we've got a couple of bricks out there bouncing around. It's kind of a funny angle, though. As you can see, they're way over here. Like, what? Why are they over here? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes, you know, you destroy something on the left-hand side, and the bricks just shift all the way over to the right. But, uh, wh what? Macaw! We got ourselves a... <laughs> I'm not even sure what's going on here. Hulkster's not quite sure what to do either, but he's getting totally juked by this crazy chicken. Look at that. He's out of here. And uh, just like that, he is under control again. And, you know, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like... At first, I thought we were fighting the Hulks, but they don't seem to be fighting us. I, I'm so confused right now. Does anybody know what's going on? Like, look, they're kind of looking at me. They're, like, wanting to charge me. They're kind of attacking me, but not really. Like, I don't even know. Like, I know we saved them, or at least we kind of appear to be saving them. But anyhow, we'll go ahead and use the grapple ability from Doctor Strange to go ahead and rip down that floating chariot yet again. And look at that. We've got some more bouncing bricks. We'll go ahead and get our... On. Whoa, watch out, that next step's a doozy. I almost fell on that little spiked little, uh, yeah, that's not good. That uh, would require a couple of band-aids, if I'm being honest. All right, we got ourselves another Captain America shield switch spot. So we'll go ahead, and this time we're going to have to hop onto it. And we have a funny angle here, so we're going to go ahead and target the old boinger on the far right and let it do the work for us, which uh, this time I do believe it opens the door here, and it takes us into a little bit of a cutscene. Like... Unlike People last time. Of Sakaar, I think we need even more action. Yes? 
All right, so we've got ourselves another uh, Mega Hulk, basically. Uh, Cronin? That's not good. A, a Cronin? I'm not sure if that's a person or a place or a thing, for that matter. Uh, either way you look at it, though, we've got uh, a whole bunch of bad guys up against us, and we've got this mysterious pile of bricks in the middle. So you know our rule of thumb. If you don't know what to do, smash everything until <laughs> you got something to build. And in this case, it works out. We've got this weird plate and a bunch of uh, weird looking bricks. We're going to build them into some rock cakes for these guys. And that's right, they're going to chomp down on some old rock cakes. Uh, I don't recommend them, boys and girls, as they are definitely not good for your teeth. But uh, that being said, I guess if you're a Hulkster, that might not be a worry of yours. So uh, it turns out you actually need, well, I'm not sure you actually need, but we had troubles trying to pick up these rock cakes with every other character except for... Mr. Strange. So use the old doctor, that's right, to go ahead and pick him up. I said, doctor! I have trouble switching to him, so it takes me a hot second. There we go, I finally get him. I can go ahead and press the icon indicator, which was circle, and we'll toss those rock cakes out in the middle. We get a short cut scene. It was really short. I, I, there was a couple other short ones that I indulged in, and I figured I'd skip this one. He goes ahead and takes a chomp. Oh, look at that, one bite is all it took. Oh, right. Now he's tossing them out to his buddies. And wait a minute. He is a little upset that there weren't more. Apparently he wants seconds. I'm not exactly sure. However, we've got this little moment where we see our floating chariot again. But this time it's got an electric shock panel on the bottom. And we know old Thor is handy when it comes to electric panel so we'll go ahead and switch on over to him and pom 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 it up that's right i'm not sure where thor came from he seemed to come off screen there but we got him we charged it up and we'll go ahead and by the powers of gray skull oh wait no by the powers of uh asgard or somewhere i don't know i was trying to make a he-man joke you had to be old to understand it though so zoop, 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 and off we go to another cutscene But now I'll prove that I am most worthy to rule in Kang's new order by beating your team with nothing but my bare hands. I fancy those odds. Just these hands. With my power suit, sword, flamethrower, and missiles. Oh, and this! All right, all right, all right. We got ourselves the Red King battle here, and he's got all sorts of little buddies to come in and help. Good thing for us, we've got some big buddies to do some damage as well. Now, as it turns out, when we start off, we actually have a fire to put out, so we'll go ahead and use Captain America's shield to do that dirty work for us. We don't want to melt our plastic little fingies now, do we? We'll go ahead and smash it down and rebuild this into what happens to be a Captain America shield reflection pad so that's right we're gonna go ahead and it takes me a minute to actually connect with that third time's a charm hmm. we'll go ahead and build up the remaining blocks into that's right another reflector pad and we'll press the icon indicator to go ahead and jump up there and reflect that ray right back at some of that gold now in all reality you'd think we'd be able to use our heat ray but for whatever reason all not all of our characters seem to be here now i noticed that a little bit ago too remember i made mention that it seemed like thor kind of came off screen there it seemed like he was flying around doing some other dirty work and was not available for a minute, and then all of a sudden he showed up. I'm not sure if that's the case or if it's just Quinky Dink that two times the characters we want are not available. However, look at that. We've uh, used the reflection pad, and we have knocked old Red King down, and he's got this force field, which takes me a minute to figure out as well. So he has this crazy flamethrower, and one would think that you need the shield to go ahead and deflect that and get up close and personal and do some damage to him. But that's not the case, actually. He's got this force field that, uh, I guess, needs some electricity to go ahead and knock it down. And once that electricity has knocked it down, you can get up close and personal and, uh, well, knock his block off, so to speak. So uh, we got a long health meter to go ahead and take down. So it does take a few minutes. And this is kind of a grueling process as it doesn't ever seem to go my way. Now, hopefully that's just because I'm terrible at this particular uh, situation here. But uh, maybe it's just uh, maybe not that great of uh, a level planning altogether. I don't know. I always try to take fault for it because, you know, usually it's not the developer's 
problem. It's usually something I'm doing wrong. Not always. Usually. <laughs> Just getting that out of the way. Speaking of getting that out of the way, we've waited too long to remind you guys how awesome Warner Brothers has been to us. We actually have been uh, gifted quite a few games as of lately, and the most recent one is this one right here. We actually got a nice copy of LEGO Super Heroes 2. That's right. Marvel Super Heroes 2. We've got that. Uh, now... Boy, I, almost every game this year we've been lucky enough to be uh, sponsored by Warner Brothers and get hooked up with, and hopefully that'll continue. So a uh, big shout-out to you guys, too, for watching all of our videos. I know that you guys thank us all the time for helping you, but you guys got to remember that without you guys watching our videos, we would not be here doing what we love to do. So, uh, again, thank you guys for helping our dreams come true, and, yeah, you're welcome for helping you out. If you guys feel the need... To, uh, you know, maybe give back a little, you could always uh, stop by our Facebook page and give us a big thanks. Or if you're really feeling generous, you could always check us out on Patreon.com slash Happy Thumbs Gaming, which we got links down below in the video description if you want to check those types of things out. Now, hey, you can see I used the shield, and it seemed like I got right up close and personal and got through that shield. But I don't know, maybe it was just good timing? I'm not sure what's going on. This this was one of the more confusing boss battles for me. There's certainly elements that make plenty of sense, like, okay, I see there's three boxes here. We'll go ahead and smash those down and rebuild those, right? I mean, to do it. But, uh, yeah, and then we got the shield reflection pads. We'll go ahead and hop on that. It's pretty self-explanatory as well. But there's those other moments with the shield generator around the old... Uh, well, you know, the Red King, the, the bad guy at, at hand here. He spins around with this uh, giant serpent, which has uh, got some sort of electric breath. I don't know if he's got, like, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, you got cinnamon, you got spearmint. I'm guessing wintergreen is this dude's breath fresh smell. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just killing time because this is like one of the world's longest boss battles right here. We'll go ahead and look at that. I finally get the right angle and I get knocked off my pad. And guess what? He's done. He's done for this round. So I got to wait and take out some more bad guys and then hop on that pad and get the timing right yet again. So uh, unfortunately, like I said, this seems to be like the longest battle ever for something so simple. Oh, pal, right in the kisser. See, I told you, he got me. I wasn't expecting that. Now I'm going to go hop on my pad over here and get ready to do some reflecting. And not the self-reflecting. I mean, like, the uh, electricity reflecting. We'll go ahead and melt that down. This is the first time we've ever seen something other than a heat ray melt gold, too. I don't know why they chose that. Uh, I guess that fresh breath is extra crispy. And uh, speaking of extra crispy, those little missiles aren't very fun either there, buddy. We'll go ahead and get all up close and personal again. Oh, not before getting ran down. Holy cannoli. I promise you, though, we're getting pretty close to the end of this battle. As you can see, his health meter is over the halfway mark. And we've got a good concept on how we can take him down. And it certainly helps to have Thor and his electric ability, but it's not doing me any good right now. Why is it not? Why is it not? Come on, come on. Melt it down, melt it down. I guess we're going to go ahead and switch maybe back over to Captain here in a second. Uh, look at this, too. Like, my electricity is not doing any good on any of these guys. I guess it was a funny angle or something. But, uh, all right. Oh, no, he's targeting us again. Get out of the way, Thor. Look out, look out. Oh, that's not ending well for us. Look at me. Pew, 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 pew. All right, last chance here to go ahead and melt it down. And is it working? Is it, It's not working. See, look at that. He seems to be invincible to my uh, electricity now. So, again, I'm not sure if this is me or the game, but I'll take blame yet again and all right we've got almost down to the final quarter there and look at captain in the background putting in some work too we're going to switch to him and hopefully get our shield out and deflect some of this fire and get all up close and personal one last time for that knockout blow that we can go ahead and check out the final cutscene, as well as the final totals oh look at that as promised look at that you can use that shield to get up close and personal don't wag your finger at me you ain't dikembe mutombo no 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 ha 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 Anyways, uh, come on, final blow coming up in about five, four, oh wait, I forgot, there's one more of these things. So, we have the third round here, as you guys already know, the rule of three is coming into play here, just like it does in most boss battles. We'll go ahead and build up the third and final shield reflection panel, and we'll go ahead and wait for that hot heat ray, that winter green winter fresh breath to go ahead and hit our shield and reflect now i'm not sure why he is being so uh careless he needs to hit me come on look at me look at me reflect off me i want to melt that gold and move on all right ready here it comes fresh breath in three two one 
All right, upsy daisy. All right, melted away -zy. And oh, to the air. Yeah. Oh, we got ourselves an electric panel that needs to be pump, 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 pumped up. So we can go ahead and switch back to Thor. This time we know his electric panel uh, or electric power will charge up the panel. There we go. It's a little hard for me to say there. Ready? And here we go. Zoop, 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 zoop. Yay! Kablooey! And down goes the big serpent. And come on, Red King, what's going on? Oh, no! Red King down. Excellent. Now that he's out of the way, I will gladly accept your surrender. As I was saying, your surrender... We'll call it a draw, shall we? He's a friend from work. Trophy achievement should now be yours for completing level 9, the Red King Revelation Story. Look at that. That is, uh, wow, number 15, huh? Level complete. So, uh, yeah, seems like it might be out of place here. Is that supposed to be level 9, not number 15? But anyhow, we won't uh, pay much attention to that. We fell short just over the halfway point. Actually, almost the three-quarter point of that true believer requirement there and we got a couple of characters unlocked for completing just the story now keep in mind there still is a character to be unlocked and we got a freely 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 which we'll do when we come back in our free play which also will entail the rest of the gold bricks and those mini kits too so uh yeah we got like i said we got a handful of newbies added to our list and i'm glad to look how big this list is it's just insane how many characters there are and as much as it was kind of easy to complete Lego Ninjago movie video game because of like the the, the less amount of lesser amount of collectibles and things like that, boy, uh, I kind of miss that now because <laughs> this is going to be a lot of work. It's all good though. We get all sorts of characters, new and old, and it's going to be fun learning for me and uh, maybe trip down memory lane for some of you guys. But uh, hey, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 Level 9, uh, The Red King Revelation, where we got that trophy achievement. He's a friend from work, and uh, yeah, we've unlocked free play. So. As always, that's going to be it for me, and I'm going to check out and do things backwards for once, so... Yep, sweet!